Ever since there's been more than three presidents, historians have debated who was the best one. Most of them will say Washington or Lincoln. Others are more bold and choose FDR or Teddy Roosevelt. Those under the age of 18 will usually pick one of these two. So who was the best president? Who is right? I am. I am right. William Howard Taft was the best president of the United States. In this video, I will give five reasons why. Number one, his facial hair. Now before Taft came along, most presidents' facial hair looked terrible. So many people call Lincoln the best president, but look at that neck beard. Where's his mustache? You're not supposed to shave that off. And look at John Quincy Adams. Has this dude ever seen Wolverine? That's how you do sideburns, dude. <clears throat> now look at Taft's mustache. Now that's facial hair. Look at how curly the ends are. The shape, how it nearly goes to mid-cheek. His facial hair is so good that no other presidents have even had it after him. If you don't believe me, look it up on the world's most reliable source of information. Wikipedia. There's been clean-shaven faces for the past hundred years. Taft truly set the gold standard for facial hair in the Oval Office. Number two, he busted a lot of trusts. When he wasn't walking around being a total beast, Taft's favorite thing to do in his spare time was bust trusts. And he was damn good at it too. He busted more trusts than Teddy Roosevelt, who some people call a top five president. Well, Mr. Mount Rushmore, the numbers don't lie. Teddy brought forth 40 trust cases in seven years, but my boy Taft did 70 in four years. Now I know what you're thinking, Looney, what are trusts, and what is trust busting? Now I've taken History 101, so I know what both those things are. But let me explain it another way. If Taft didn't bust up those trusts, the board game Monopoly wouldn't exist because Monopoly is a satire on what trusts would do if they weren't busted. So to sum it up, the greatest board game ever made would not have been possible if it weren't for the greatest president ever made. Number three, he was a chief justice too. Now, most of you can remember what presidents were before they were president. Some of them were vice presidents, or senators, or even governors. But can you remember what they did after? I can. William Howard Taft was the chief justice of the Supreme Court. Not just an associate justice, but a chief justice. And he served for 10 years with people that he appointed. To this day, he remains the only person to serve in both the executive and judicial branches. Most people aspire to be in just one of those offices, but instead, we got us a man who could do both. Number four, he has a bridge named after him. When we think of things named after presidents, a lot of objects come to mind. The Hoover Dam, the Trump Tower, the Lincoln Memorial, and many more. But did you know there's a Taft Bridge? They named it after him because during his time as Chief Justice of the Supreme Court, he used to take walks across the bridge every day from work. And so, they renamed it the Taft Bridge while he was still alive. You don't see any bridges named after Grover, Cleveland. And what does Kennedy have? An airport? Shut up your grassy knoll, John. The Taft Bridge is an American icon. And number five, he thick. Now most of you know from my last video that I like my women down with the thickness. This makes me more than qualified to say that William Howard Taft was thick as fuck. This absolute unit weighed 350 pounds by the end of his presidency. He was so thick that he had to get a new bathtub in the White House because he couldn't fit in the old one. And for all we know, that same bathtub could still be in there after more than 100 years. And even when he went on a summer cut down to just 315 pounds, he was still an absolute monster. Just look at him. They call this guy the teddy bear? William Howard Taft is like those six foot ones you buy at Costco. And I'll just leave it at that. Our 27th president, William Howard Taft, is the best one that this country has ever had. Without him, we wouldn't have Monopoly, cool ass bridges, and $50 teddy bears you pick up as a last minute gift for your significant other. Some people may say that these nerds were better, but at the end of the day, I have nothing but respect for my president.